Hi, this video is for you if you're not entirely well versed with end to end encryption. We're not going to discuss the technicalities of it. Instead, we're going to have the one important conversation that no one's having. The one that's about you and about India. What if I told you that encryption has evolved to become so powerful today that no hacker is going to be able to break it to actually access your WhatsApp and Signal chats? You might ask then, why is everyone in India still so pressed about encryption? Well, I'm going to give you the four biggest reasons today. Okay, the first one, the security privacy trade-off. Imagine encryption is a huge wall that stops people from intercepting information. Governments want companies to build a small hole in that wall, thereby weakening encryption so that they can intercept communication and catch people doing illegal things like terrorism. But the issue here experts warn is that that hole becomes fair game for everyone. Hackers can use it to get to your information just like the government can. So they say, please don't make the hole. Security is not a good enough justification to put the privacy of millions of people at risk. This hole is called a backdoor and we keep saying that the trade-off is not worth it. But in 2020, the Indian government actually signed an international statement urging tech companies to give it a backdoor. Now we filed an RTI asking them if they even sought one legal opinion before doing this and they didn't give us anything. On to the second one, traceability. Under the new IT rules which just came into force, law enforcement agencies in India can now compel large social media companies to trace the first person who generated a piece of content or sent a certain message, if it's unlawful. Social media companies might actually do this by breaking their own end-to-end -end encryption. Imagine you're an anonymous memer or a dissenter and you have that one sacred tool of protection which is your anonymity. And now that tool can be taken away if an authority demands it. That kind of defeats the whole purpose of encryption. For number three, I want to tell you an uncomfortable truth. The entire history of encryption from all the way back to the 80s is riddled with government authorities trying to curb it or surpass it or just to give themselves some questionable amounts of leeway. And this is not just happening in countries like US and China, but countries all over the world. Now, let's just say the government of India is not a stranger to the encryption decryption fiasco. In 2015, the government released the draft encryption policy, which would basically make companies have to give the government your private data in a non-encrypted fashion. And it would even allow the government to make the secret keys and algorithms that we would use in India. Of course, this was just so bizarre and unconstitutional that it never ended up becoming a law. But now with the new IT rules, the government is once again trying to impinge on your right to privacy, but just in a different way. For the fourth and final one, the current law. Imagine in India where an authority can order the decryption of any of your messages. Well, the IT decryption rules actually do exactly that. They dictate that a competent authority can pass an order to decrypt or monitor or intercept any of your messages. And if it's not feasible to get such a prior direction in the moment, they can even do so without it. Now consider these IT decryption rules along with the new IT rules which compel companies to let law enforcement agencies find the first originator of information. Where does this leave you? Constantly worried about what you're going to say 24-7. Now you must be wondering, you've already scared us all so much, but where do we go from here? The issues that we're tackling today don't just revolve around the existing security standards of tech companies. Like WhatsApp ka encryption zada chai ki signal ka encryption zada chai. Instead, we also have to look at the laws that are surrounding them and the relationship these companies have with the government and the speed at which we're hurtling towards a technologically advanced future where our rights are not going to be safeguarded until we make sure that they are. So here's the final crux of the matter. Companies like Facebook and Google are going to rise and fall eventually and even waves of political ideology are going to come and go and even the approaches that intelligence agencies use will change over time. But what's going to remain is our constitutionally safeguarded right to privacy and legislation which seeks to protect our interests across time and circumstances. This is what we need to focus on primarily. We need a comprehensive and robust legislation which will protect our data and our privacy, which we do not have in India right now. So while we all come together to ensure a data bill that protects your interests, please in the meantime, value your own data. The richest companies in the world are the richest because they capitalize on this information. 
सो प्लीज रिकग्नाइज इट्स वर्थ योर सेल्फ एंड टेक मेजर्स टू प्रोटेक्ट योर सेल्फ एंड एडवोकेट फॉर अ स्ट्रॉग डेटा बिल एंड ऑल्सो फॉर इंक्रिप्शन दैट इवेंचुअली प्रायोरिटाइज द एंड यूजर विच इज यू At Internet Freedom Foundation, we've been passionate about the issue of encryption for a while now. In 2018, writ petitions were filed in the Madras High Court to link Aadhaar with social media for identity verification, which was just bad news for privacy. So, IFF intervened in this case, which eventually evolved into a discussion about the traceability of the originator of information and encryption. At this time, Dr. Prabhakaran, a professor at IIT who specializes in cryptography, which is the study of encryption, clearly outlined in his expert analysis why this is just a bad idea and it will lead to things like the, you know, framing of innocent people for sending illegal messages. At Internet Freedom Foundation, protecting your digital rights is literally our bread and butter. But we need support from regular Indians like you to continue doing the work that we do. So please consider donating to us today.